In this video I'll show you how to connect your HP DeskJet 2842E to your PC computer and then I'll show you how to scan and also how to print using the Wi-Fi and your PC. So let's get started right away. The first thing is to put your printer into pairing mode if it's not already in it. So let's start by doing this. So your printer may already be into setup mode. To know that uh, if you're on this mode or not, you need to have the small blue light beside the Wi-Fi button clipping. If this is clipping, it just means that you're good to go to the next step. If it's not clipping, what you need to do is to press this X button and the Wi-Fi button during about two seconds, like this, one, two, and then release. This power button will blink and after a while it will stay solid and the Wi-Fi button will then start blinking. Also, I forgot to tell you, just put some paper inside of the printer because it will print two pages just showing you how to connect it uh, via Wi-Fi the same way that I'm showing you right now. You really don't need this, but the printer will print those two sheets of paper. Okay, so now that it's in setup mode, let's go back on the Windows computer. Now on your PC, what you need to do is to download the HP Smart App by going on the Microsoft Store. Every PCs have a Microsoft Store and then type HP Smart on the search bar. Once you have found the app like this, go ahead and install it. If it's the first time you're using this app, you won't see any printers on the top. You'll have a big button that says add a new printer. If you see that button, go ahead and click on it. If you don't see that button and you see uh, some printers, go ahead and you simply need to swipe, okay, until on the left side you see the button add a printer. Click on this. If your printer does not appear in the list you're seeing on your screen, uh, press on my printer isn't listed. If not, you see here it may appear quite late. So press on setup once you see the name of your printer, then press connect or continue here. Press continue. You may have to enter your Wi-Fi password on the last step if they ask you, if not, just continue. And now just in a few seconds, they'll ask you to press on the I button on your printer. Let's just wait until they ask. Okay, you see, they asked to press the I button. So on your printer, you're gonna see, this is the I button, you see it's clipping. Um, tap once on it, so that the setup on the computer continues. Then once you see the green check mark, it, need, it simply means that the printer is connected to your Wi-Fi. So press continue, then press continue. And now on this screen, what we need to do, by the way, on the top here, you should see your printer appearing. If not, again, simply shuffle like this until you see your DeskJet printer. Now you need to go down over here. And these are the main options you're gonna use. You have print photo, print document, and finally you also have scan. I guess these are the only options you'll need really. So if you want to print any text documents, you're gonna press on print documents. And you're gonna search for that file on your PC computer. I'll select one here. Then press print. Over here, you're gonna select your printer. So in this, select your printer. Make sure these are okay with you. So the text, uh, the, the page size, uh, if you want this to be in color or black and white, these are, this is really up to you. And then at the end, press the print button. And here we go. We have our print. Now let me show you how to scan. So over here we're gonna open the scan lid and place your document. Here I have already a, a picture. Place it facing down with the top part of this page on the right side. Then align this corner with that corner of the scanner by dragging like that until it touches. 
close the scan lid and let's go back on the PC. Make sure that these settings are again okay with whatever you're trying to scan. Here it's very important on the resolution, it's at 150 dpi. If you're scanning anything that has to do with a picture, with some graphics where you need a lot of details, I suggest you select 600 or 1200 dpi. Unfortunately, this also means that it will take more time to scan. So just for this example here, I wanted to be quick, so I'll select 150 dpi and press the scan button. Here we go, we have our scan. And if your document has multiple pages, let's say you have five different pages you want to combine in one PDF, you're gonna press on the add button here after you have removed this page and put the next one. So like this, you can add many pages and combine them in one document. Once you're ready, you have, to, uh, you have some options here on the lower left side, you have print if you want to print whatever you scanned. You have save if you want to save this on your computer, your PC computer, and you have share if you want to share it on social media or email or other places. So this is really up to you over here. So if I press save, it will ask me to uh, make sure that this is the name I want for this file. You can rename it if you prefer having something more specific. And the file type here, this is a picture, so I'll select JPEG, but if you're scanning text, I suggest you select basic PDF. And once you're ready, press save and it will ask you where you want to save it on your PC and you'll be good to go. So thanks for watching. I hope this was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.